I came today because I would have noticed that they're advocating no masks, no vaccines, no lockdowns worldwide. Um, I'm affiliated with a group called the Steering Committee. Um, we have chapters in England, America, Canada, etc. Um, I decided to come down here today. I have a petition that is to go to the House of Assembly. And I said I would come down here today to speak by the corner by Buster because Buster symbolizes freedom. All right. And whoever is desirous of sending the petition can pass by and they will see me. So I, have, I started to have a small crowd come. And um, I'm actually stating that we should be entitled to the right to say no to vaccines. We should be entitled to the right that not only say no to vaccines, but not be discriminated against or ostracized because we've said no to vaccines. Because I do not see how we can be uh, jeopardy to anyone who has taken a vaccine if they're immunized. I'm sure that some of you would have gone to school and taken shots of polio. And there are children around you who would not have taken shots. And they, weren't, and they would not have imperiled you as a result of it. Okay? I'm just saying that we should not be ostracized because there are some people who are employees of certain institutions who are contacting me are saying that they are being discriminated about, they're being intimidated because they're not taking the vaccine. Also, what I want to add, and this is most important, is the fact that during the lockdown, a lot of big core, big corporations, so to speak, were opened. But the small business people, people who like the guys on the streets who sell fruits, vendors who sell vegetables, small like hair stylists, those kind of people, they were closed down. They were not allowed to make an income. As some of these people live day by day, they don't receive a weekly salary. They don't do that. They hustle. They work during the day. Sometimes they rush, get a little money to go to the supermarket on a daily basis. And this was, this jeopardized them. This jeopardized them, their families. It had repercussions. Society are actually doing the job that they were instructed to do. I would, I would, this is not a protest. I'm not protesting. Everybody has a right. I'm just saying that I have that right too, to self-integrity, autonomy, okay? If you want to choose the vaccine, it's up to you. If I don't want to have the vaccine. I was just speaking and people started together, all right? Note that there were distance. It wasn't a big gathering, okay? It's no bigger gathering than, they're saying that we weren't allowed to gather, but I'm seeing here by the supermarket, there's a long gathering going into the supermarket and they're not saying that that is a gathering either. And we actually have more than 200 online and we have, as you can see, a good couple. In that short space of time we've been there, have gotten 20 something. Um, I've actually gotten 20 something. More than 20 something uh, signatures already in that short space of time. As you can see, it's a petitionary request. Petitionary request to the Honorable House of Assembly. In accordance with the Constitution of Barbados, Section 51. Okay, and we've stated that. And we have the, the, law, the laws to back us up relative to it. Okay, and we've quoted European laws and regulations and the Constitution of Barbados.